my family and I realized that even though we have cats, dogs, goats, and chickens, we really needed a new pet. So I decided to fly to South Africa to explore the possibilities and see what options there were for us for a new pet. And boy, did I ever luck out. My new pet, a Joburg production by Mom and Janice. You can imagine my confusion when I saw all the possibilities. There were new and strange birds I could have chosen from. There were elephants, lions, zebra, giraffe, but none of them seemed quite right. So I decided to go to Mill Park Hospital to see what they might have there. And guess what? Meet my new pet. This is my pet mom. She seemed perfect for our family. The first week you have your new pet, you might want her to stay in section four of the neurosurgical ICU. It's the perfect place for your new pet. She got here. It was two days before Christmas. Two days before Christmas. Let me show you some of the new tricks I taught my pet mom. She can do leg exercises. Me too. You can do what? I can do the alphabet with my feet. What else can you do? I can watch, bend my knees. Very fancy. Now can your new pet do that? I doubt it. Any angle, it's impressive. Well, I don't want to too much of that angle. Very nice. And smiling all the while. And do you know that she does those foot exercises even while having her blood oxygenation measured? See? Now, can your new pet do that? I doubt it. She can even do finger exercises. These are very tricky. This is a full arm extension. Can your new pet do that? I doubt it. And one of the trickiest of all, what's it called? He's blowing up the ball, is all I can think of. I don't like the name of that. And one of the trickiest of all is the lung exerciser. Yes, good. The inhale. There we had two. And a little action from the third. Can she do it? Boom, 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 boom. <laughs> boom, 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 boom. <laughs> the tension rises. Can she get all three? <laughs> what happened? <laughs> Oops. <laughs> Can she get all three balls? Bum, 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 bum. The tension rises. Can Linda's weak lungs sustain? <gasps> Let's quit while we're ahead. <laughs> At a glance, how many white squares there are in the ceiling in front of me? <laughs> See if I can guess. 37? No. 26? Close. 24. Yes. If your new pet is on medication that might be messing up her stomach, it's important that you could, you remedy it right away. Every good new pet accepts a sip of yogurt drink. This is what you can get. It's flora, bacillus, lactobacillus, perfect for the intestinal tract. 
If you have your new pet at the hospital, be careful about making any promises you don't want to keep. The hospital can be a busy place. If you tell your new pet you're going to take her to the theater, she might end up here in an unexpected surgery. Now, you may not know this, but it is very important to keep your new pet interested and occupied. Otherwise, she may become bored and lethargic. We wouldn't want that, no. Sure, I'm busy. Name did a dance called the Gitchy Crew. That's the thing that flew my goo. It's important that you socialize your pet. <laughs> but I did sit up today, but I get very dizzy. She's learning to roll up little pieces of paper to exercise her fingertips, and it's also a wonderful life skill. You never know when you can use this. Can your new pet do that? I doubt it. Good nutrition is very important. Get a proper size bite for your new pet. You don't want it to be too big or too small. Oh, sorry. <laughs> sorry, little pet. If your new pet doesn't care for carrots, go ahead and eat them yourself. Mmm, yummy. It's important that you take your pet out once in a while. She can even yawn. <laughs> It's really important that your pet get a little alone time, so let her have some. Say goodbye. Bye. Bye. <laughs> Finding a vet for your pet. Make sure to find a vet who's caring and compassionate. My friend came in and I was telling her, and she said, oh, you would never see those kind of animals around here. In I will. I'll show you the cradle of humankind. Wow. The, the lion park, you'll see there's a white tiger there. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Okay. Often on a Sunday. I would ride, love something like that. We ride past him and you can see him from the road. I hope you're as fortunate as I and my new pet mom are in finding a vet who is also an excellent surgeon. He will insert a small disc between her third and fourth vertebrae. And you know what? She'll wind up just about as good as new. And he'll also report in daily to see how her recovery is going. If you need a pet, if you need a veterinarian while in Johannesburg, South Africa, find Dr. Zario. So when your pet is ready to leave the hospital, her staples taken out, and Nick is the guy to do it. And then Nicholas will put on a waterproof dressing, and you can call the cab and get going. <laughs> get your pet dressed and ready to go so that when the cab comes, are you ready to go, little pet? I think so. Oh, and when you bring your pet home, make sure you bring her to somewhere beautiful and lovely so she can heal well. Healing environments are very important. For the health and well-being of your new pet. There she is. See you in the States, new pet. Okay, I love you.